Carrying on with the toxic conversation, let's talk about how we've gotten rid of some toxics, um, what we've done. We've had offices in the past who are run by brokers who really wanted to be political activists. We allowed them to go be political activists because they were no longer brokers with us. Um, we've had agents who decide that they want to come on and not take phone calls from their clients and they want to be limited service and they want to deviate from our model and they want to do all this stuff. So guess what? We fired them. Um, speaking about myself and, and Kelly at the home office, as well as at corporate, we have run off bad agents who give us a bad name. We have run off franchisees who give us a bad name. And when you think about those things, it's important. I don't want, this is people's livelihoods. Most of our most of our franchisees and owners and agents, they, they got kids. I mean, some of them got grandkids. You know, I, I don't want one rotten egg to, to be the thing that ruins the whole bunch of us. And so we are quick to fire somebody when it becomes apparent that they don't want to listen and they don't want to learn and they don't want to feel like they're part of the team here. Um, you know, helping us offer something great to the public and something great to agents when it becomes more about, you know, their political grandstanding or their hot button issues or, or them on social media and all the drama they can cause. We're quick to run people off. We've done it before. Unfortunately, I'm sure it'll happen again. Don't be afraid to do the same. But I think when you stop and think about it, as long as you're not one of those people, you probably should get the warm and fuzzies realizing, hey, before they allow somebody to pull down everything that we've all built, they'll cut them loose. And we have, and we will, because for our good franchisees who just want to be good people and grow an office and take care of their clients and take care of their agents, and for our agents looking to do the same thing with their team or, or with their clients, we are not going to let any toxic people ruin that for them. It's just, it's, it's not something we can fathom. So we're going to take care of the toxics that we can. You do the same with your office. You do the same with your clients. And we're all going to be happier because of it.